Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing tree silhouettes and we're gonna be coloring them a certain way. So let's get going. Welcome back to another video. Uh, so over here on my paper, I have a couple examples to show you, so let's go over them. So on this side, I glued a couple examples. As you can see back here, we have a couple tree silhouettes. So it's just the outline of the tree, and basically what you would see like when the trees get cast, uh, and there's like a sunset or something behind it. So that's basically what a silhouette is uh, in layman's terms. But um, what they did over here is that they did warm colors in the background and different types of patterns. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, tree silhouettes a certain way. So that way the tree top looks kind of like stained glass and I kind of like this look a lot. So over here down below, we have a tree silhouette and it kind of branches out to the edges of the paper. And what happens is that they can kind of color in between those colors, um, warm colors, and it looks kind of cool. So I'm going to do my version. I'm going to see if I can do just as good as these guys right here because they look amazing. I'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my paper. I drew a border so I can I don't have to go to the edges of the paper. And uh, I have a black marker right here. So what I'm going to do is I want to draw the tree trunk first. So I'm going to do my best here. And uh, if you want, this is one project that if you want to use paint, you can. So here we go. So let's just do a tree trunk. I'm going to go up a little bit. All right, there is my tree trunk. I'm gonna go up about maybe that high. And then with that tree trunk, I'm gonna start filling it in as best as I can. So the reason why I say you can use paint is cause you're gonna be using a lot of solid coloring here. And maybe paint might be your best option when doing this project. So if you want to do paint, I can guarantee you that it'll already look better than mine. <laughs> All right, so there is my tree trunk. So now what I'm gonna do is to mimic what they did for the stained glass type of style for the tree trunk, I'm gonna start branching out in different directions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna curve this way. Then I'm gonna curve the opposite way. So maybe I'll go this direction, start from over here, go this way, just like so. I'm gonna make sure it's a nice solid black line. And then what I'm gonna do is that in this line, or from the tree trunk, I'm gonna start branching out in a variety of directions. So maybe I'll go this way. Maybe there'll be a way for me to go this direction. And then maybe I'll go up a little higher. Maybe I'll go this way. All right, perfect. So now I divided it up. So I have a couple sections on top here. I have one, two, three, Four. I have a total of four sections. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna divide the sections up even more by connecting the branches to the main branches more. So maybe I'll go from here, go up. It will connect like that. Make this branch thicker maybe. There we go. It'll make a couple of these branches a little bit thicker. Make this one way thicker. And let's try to make this one thicker for sure. There we go. Let's make this main one a little bit thicker as well. So it has more room to grow. Let's do this one a tad bit thicker. Alright. This is looking great so far. Alright, let's start adding some dividing lines here. So maybe this can branch out this direction. Maybe this one can branch out this way. That would be pretty cool. Maybe this one can go this direction. This one can go this way. Can I have another one going there, like that. All right, so, so far so good. It's looking really neat. Um, so let's just keep going here. I can go that way. This one can go this way. All right. This is looking really cool. All right, we have this big open spot over here, so why don't we go branch this direction here. All right, I kind of want to go this direction. Go this, eh. Let's see, I guess we'll go this direction here. That'd be pretty neat. Let's go this way. Okay, uh, I think this one should go this direction. So this project has to be really creative, which 
direction you go for the lines here. And as you go higher and higher up, it can get more and more creative. All right. I'm liking the, the way it's turning out so far. It's looking really cool. All right, if I wanted to add more, I could. I think I will. I guess I'm gonna add another one right here, maybe. So now that looks weird now, so I'm gonna add another one right there. Okay, so I'm all done with adding my branches. Now here comes the fun part. I can start coloring it the way I want. So um, I think I'm gonna do something cool in the bottom. Uh, with the cool colors, so why don't I add? Hmm, why don't I start like this? Why don't I add? Let me get the cool colors out first. So what I want to use is here. Let's use some of the tertiary colors I have here. All right, let's do this color, this color, and let's see. Let's choose a different green. Let's use this green. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's use this blue violet first. Actually, no, let's do blue violet on the bottom. That'd be neat. All right, and again, you can use paint if you want. I think this will look way better in paint, in my honest opinion. Let me do the other side. There we are. And then let me go up a little bit higher, but color a little bit more softly. So it's medium pressure. There we are. Right, let me put this blue violet away. Let's move on to blue green. Right, let's go in that same exact area. Color it in. Go on the side, color it in. All right, let's go up a little higher. Looking good. Alright, let's put that tertiary color away. I have a specific spot I put my tertiary colors right there. Alright, instead of doing this color, I think this might be better. Robin's egg. Eh, no, not Robin's egg. Why don't I try, um... Hmm, I don't want to make the wrong decision here. <laughs> let's see. I want to do mint, but it's going to look... Oh, screw it. Let's, let's just try it. That actually turned out better than I thought, so I'm glad I went with my gut and chose this mint. Well, it's good. All right, why don't we start heading toward the top? Let's do some warm colors. So let's do warm colors, so red, orange, and yellows. So let's just take one warm color here, and let's just randomly put it on random spots here. Right there, right here, maybe right here. I'm gonna jump around here and there on my photo or picture. And then we'll just make sure that it looks the way we want. Okay. We put one here. Maybe down below. Alright. That's actually a good amount that I wanted. Great. Just wanna put this color away. Why don't I do, let's see, this color, Scarlet, so it's more of a reddish color. Uh, it's nice and vibrant. We do another sliver of the Scarlet color right here. Uh, let's go right here maybe, maybe it'll look good right there. Uh, maybe right here. Down there a little bit. That's okay. Um, it might look good here. Let's try it out. Yeah, looks good right there. Um, let's try some more spots here. And I have another spot in mind that I want to go to. Let's try this spot right here. Uh, let's move to an orange color. This color will be great. This. Oh, it's like a light orange. Okay, this will work. There. Here. 
next to this big area. Last color, we can do any color we want. We'll do like a brownish color. Maybe this will tie it in together. It looks like it does. Great choice of colors. All right. We got one more spot to go, and then we can call this project done. All right, and we're done. Let's take a look. All right, I like it a lot. So, anyways. Uh, that is a project it actually turned out way better than I expected and I like it a lot and I hope You guys enjoy this project if you guys decide to do it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye